Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another StarCraft 2 broadcast here at SK Gaming. My name is Anaris. Today we're here watching the fourth game in the best of five match series between FXO QXC spawning this time down as the purple Terran in the bottom left against his red Terran opponent Select over in the bottom right. The match is going to be taking place on Shakuras Plateau, which is actually one of my... Uh, one of my favorite maps. It lends itself pretty well to macro-oriented play. One of the big reasons is because the ease of defending the expansion. This is the ramp. It's quite small when you uh, compare it to some of the other maps with the ramp of the natural expansion. And then you see it's immediately accessible from your main. Just boop right down there. You're already at the spot where the command center is going to go. So pretty easy to take that early game. Both, you know, it's funny actually. I think every single game so far in this series, you've had players spawning back to back. So this is about as uh, this is about as back to back as you can get on this game. So again, we might see some Banshee harassment. All that stands between these two players is this little stretch of land right here, which is not ex easily accessible. Of course, you can get into it by destroying one of these two sets of destructible rocks or just drop some, dropping some units down into it. But uh, on the whole, it does prove, prove to be a pretty easy lane to use for shipping uh, units back and forth, drop ships, uh, Banshees, etc. So gonna be looking for something like that today. Oh. Nice. Very nicely done by Select. Almost built that up with the uh, minerals in hand, but went and dropped that off at the last second there. So yeah, I'm going to be looking for a good match here today. Now, Select is currently up one, so if he were to actually win this one, he would uh, he would actually take the Grand Finals for himself and get that $250 grand prize. So I'm sure he's going to be looking to do that here today. But, I mean, we've had some great games so far. Both of these players have shown they are very skilled. I mean, they made it this far with, you know, 16-player tournament. Each uh, each match, match set was a best of three. I'm going to try to cast some other ones as well. I think I recorded, actually, the first half of the tournament just a one big fraps file. So I think I'm just going to separate the games out of that, upload that over to SK Gaming. And, of course, for those of you that don't know, SK Gaming now has a YouTube page. That's at youtube.com slash skgaming. Surprise there. But uh, yeah, they're going to upload a whole bunch of stuff. I know that I'm uh, going to be putting a lot of the StarCraft 2 videos there, so maybe if it's a little bit easier for you to watch them over there, you certainly can. But uh, obviously, going to have them up here at SK Gaming as well. Probably upload them here first. So if you want to catch the uh, if you want to catch the games before other people, you should you should keep watching them here. Yeah, good stuff. I'm also going to go ahead and put a couple of the games, I think, on my YouTube page as well. And definitely check that out. If you uh, if you want to see some of the earlier games, I know we actually had a lot of uh, top-level players in this tournament. I know... Well, I don't want to ruin it for you. I don't want to say who all was in the tournament. But let's go on to more immediate matters here. Got a Reaper coming in here from Select. He's actually going to pop right up in here, take out that Marine, going to be left with about 50% hit points. And nothing else that QXC has right now in the immediate area. There we go. Now two Marines going to run down here. Is he actually going to try to uh, try to stick in this fight, though? I think he's actually going to... Yeah, he's going to lose that Reaper. So the first kill of the game, going to the Reaper there. Very nicely handled. Select actually sending another one, realizing that he may be able to actually do some serious damage here. With only one Marine, could get in here, take out a couple SCVs. Of course, look at that right there. Two of them, very low hit points. QXE very quick to react there. But with the reactor on this uh, barracks, shouldn't be too difficult for him to field some units to deal with that. Looking over here, we have a second, third barracks, rather, coming uh, coming down the line from Select as well as an expansion. But look at this. We got one Hellion exploring around the field for QXC. He is going to be looking to do some damage here, possibly for the economy for Select. I don't know how he's going to actually get in there and do it, though. But one clue I think we can take from the production tab here is a medevac. He certainly could lift himself up there. But you see, he's not getting the blue flame upgrade. Oh, but there's a Marauder here. This will actually be able to do a decent bit of damage. But the Hellions are just like, you know what? Not even going to worry about it. We're going to run up into the main base and maybe do some damage uh, to the economy here. You see there's plenty of SCVs ready to be uh, ready to be killed by QXE. Run, but he still has to worry about these, these uh, now four Marines. Oh, nice little wall there. But it, QXE gets out of it. Nice micro there by QXC, keeping his Hellion alive just for a few more seconds, but runs right into the Marines and ultimately loses it. It's nice, actually. He has a good little uh, good little force here accumulating, so I think he'll be able to push in and do some serious damage. But 
Select here has some forces at the ramp. They do have the high ground. You see a couple Select Marines are very low in hit points. One of them just going down immediately without even a fight as he is trying to run up to the higher ground and establish a defensive position there. The question is, is he going to have enough uh, Is he gonna have enough troops to actually move down here and save this? I don't think he is going to. Especially when you consider that QXC now has additional reinforcements in the form of two, medevac or two Hellions and a Medevac. And they're very, very capable of roasting all of these Marines. And look at that. Marines actually running down for a split second, getting taken, taking tons of fire. And QXC able to mop up and push in. Look at that. He is actually able to come up here. And he might just go directly for the command center. I think that's what he's going to be doing. Select, of course, realizes he does not want to lose that 400 minerals. QXC tried to do anything he can. He's going to have to lift up those Marines and move them somewhere else. Because you can see, yeah, there we go. Sure enough, uh, those Marines over here, plus the SCVs, really, we're just kind of cornering them. Or cornering him there, rather. I'm all flustered from hoping he would... Uh, Hoping he would actually nail that. I'm generally not not trying to lean one way or the other in my cast, but when you got such a intense moment such as that, you really just gotta root for the guy trying stretching himself to the limit there. But now Select is coming over here with the SCVs and the Marines for support, able to finish off that attack. And now QXC, well, he has ended that without an expansion. You see, he is building one right now, about 50% complete. But he's going to continue to put pressure on. The question is, is Select able, going to be able to hold this off? I'm not too sure. Looking at the economy right now, 29 to 14. The SCV loss is pretty substantial, folks. I really just don't know if he's going to have the economy. But he does have he does have that second command center, which means two mules. So he will be able to uh, come back fairly quickly. You can actually see, despite that big gap right there, his economy is actually looking superior. And again, that's because he's running with those three mules right now, helping him rebound very quickly. But uh, you see, he's actually putting a lot of that money into units. He's not actually building a bunch of SCVs right now. Not building any. He is actually riding the bottom of the barrel with the money there. I guess he realizes that he is in kind of a peculiar situation. Looking around here... We do have a medevac running around, two marines, one hellion. I'm wondering how much damage that is actually going to be able to do. But look over here in QXC's base for just a brief moment. You can see it's very well established. Things are looking great here. They're about to not look quite so great over here, though, as the drop is now taking place. You see losing two SCVs right off the bat. He's going to have to pick up those marines. Oh, flawless victory there by QXC, taking out two SCVs and getting out of dodge super quick. All this harassment is allowing him to actually, uh, obviously, maintain a superior economy and expand on his own with a lot less pressure than his opponent is facing right now. And I'm, I really think this is just going to snowball for him. Whoa, camera flying off. I think this is going to weigh snowball for him, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm really looking to see how QXC pulls this off. He has, before, pulled off a, uh, pulled off, pulled himself out of harder situations. So I don't know. I don't want to write him off just yet. He's certainly a very, very skilled player. Let's see if he's able to come in here and do any damage to this uh, this Hellion. Don't think so! Wow, that was close. 12 hit points. He is going to come in, do a little bit of AoE splash damage. Eh. Wow, that lined it up right there. If he had the, if he had the blue flame upgrade and one more Hellion, that would have been a devastating few seconds right there. But the Marine response, able to deal with that. Not too much, uh, not too much trouble. And select his economy. It's looking a little bit better, but compare it to his opponent, 18 to 41. Oh, man. I tell you what, QXC in that early pressure is just brilliant, br brilliantly executed. Took out so many SCVs there. And now we're at the position we are today, at this moment. QXC getting ready to possibly do another drop here. Look at that, four Hellion, or, or four, uh, four mules, rather the economy there. Two base, 2,000 minerals, 43 harvesters to 24. As far as units loss goes, you can see it's actually pretty even in terms of resources loss, but we can just see the workers killed 5 to 21. That is a massive amount. And oh, wow, look at those Marines and SCVs heading out. He realizes this is pretty much going to be an all or nothing play right here, but there's a drop coming in the main. That is going to do a considerable amount of damage there. Oh, one of them, poor SCV, just dying right off the bat. He has got to make this work. 
in his favor very soon. Look at the defenses. There are a lot of Marines up here at the top, two bunkers, so it's going to be pretty difficult. But he's got a lot of damage absorbing STVs right there. He is letting the Marines actually take a little bit of extra damage there. There we go. Select running in with the STV is going to be absorbing that damage like we talked about earlier. And for immediately the first bunker goes down. Is it going to be able to burn down the second one? No, he is not. Too much time focused on that second bunker right there. It's going to lead to a GG from Select, giving QXC game number four. We're now tied up 2-2 two to two here in the Champions Trophy Grand Finals. Let's go on to game number five. I think it's on Taldarim Altar. Good macro map. Let's see how it ends.